on you guys welcome to a new tutorial video today i'm going to show you guys how you can install steam games in a different directory with a different version and in this case i want to show you guys this you guys can install the multiplayer mod for supermarket simulator 2024 so first thing you have to do is to close exit out of steam right here close exit out whatever you want shutting down steam then uh, i'm going to show you guys what you need to do on the shortcut to steam properties gonna add something here to this uh, target one here dash console apply that continue double click on the steam icon if you have close steam make sure you close steam before you do it now when you open steam you have this console thing here and this basically lets you download games in different folders so if you want to have a game that only has one save file and you want to make a new playthrough you can make a separate thing and this is mainly to basically get a different version of the game because the version 0.2.1 doesn't have the multiplayer mod working so we're going to download the version before it so we type in download the underscore epot and then we do 20 20 Twenty six seventy six hundred and thirty. Then we do twenty six seventy six hundred and thirty one. Oh, thirty one. I cannot type for my life. Then we type the uh, the final code here six three eight seven two five four zero five five eight one one eight eight one eight six whenever you type this command in here it will download the game for you so i will be back because it takes a bit for this to download i will download it as a separate folder so you can uh, install all the mods you want and you will have a custom save file without any mods so you can use this to be a shortcut get the multiplayer only version of the game that you want to play multiplayer on specifically if you want to have like a cooperative supermarket if anyone is interested to join mine that would be fun well, i'll be back whenever it's done as you can see it downloaded the files depot download complete in this location right here all you have to do is just just copy this very simple wherever your steam is installed paste it in here and here's all the files that you need and i'm going to show you guys installing the mods very simple procedure here grab the bep in ex and i figured out that you can actually install the multiplayer mod before booting it for the first time i thought you had to boot it for the first time but yeah go into plugins Put in market multiplayer here supermarket multiplayer ddl and then you just uh, make this a shortcut here go to desktop then to desktop create shortcut and you can put this shortcut wherever you want but basically i'll rename it to supermarket simulator multiplayer there we go so now this one will boot all the mods for multiplayer and the previous version and in my case i want to use specific mods that don't work on the latest version as well as the multiplayer mod there are some mods that i want to do so this is an easy way to like make an instance that you can just archive and send to your friend you can see here boot up really fast wow supermarket multiplayer in the corner here and this is a separate completely brand new save file so you start from scratch whenever you do this unless you move the save file over from the other game that you played so here we are in supermarket simulator this version is a bit laggier than the newest version i've been enjoying the newest version a lot more but yeah again invite your friends and all that great server invite people want to join in such should be able to join in but yeah that's it hope you guys enjoyed this little, little tutorial on how to get the multiplayer mod working with uh, because you probably updated to the latest version of the game and you needed to downgrade it in a way i'm surprised that i don't know if it's in any mod launchers but they should have this in a mod launcher so you can easily do this i guess this works for now i'll see you guys in the next i'll see you guys in the next tutorial make sure you guys comment down below and hit that like button all the information is in the description so if you guys want to know how to do this just check the description for a full text tutorial as well and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye